Our Earth is known to be a haven of flourishing life. In view of its equally numerous and diverse creatures, a burning question arises. Is the Earth really the only celestial body in the universe that is home to such life? Experts have been dealing with this topic for countless decades. In the past, they have used a wide variety of strategies and methods to get to the bottom of this galactic mystery. Just how researchers will search for extraterrestrial life forms in the future, and what we've already learned about this topic, you'll learn in today's video. Are you in the mood for more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space to learn more about the most fascinating discoveries of the universe on a regular basis. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with our content. Now let's explore what is probably the most central question in space exploration. Are we really alone? the search for extraterrestrial life. It was 1975 when NASA initiated the most extensive investigation of Mars to date, within the framework of the Viking program, in which two unmanned space probes were placed on the surface of the Red Planet. Mankind was to obtain high-resolution images of our galactic neighbor for the first time. One of the most important mission objectives of this undertaking was to answer the question of whether plant or animal life forms exist on Mars. However, the results obtained during the experiments did not paint a revealing, but rather confusing picture. Although noticeable changes could be observed within the three biological test series, it was completely unclear whether these were caused by organic life forms. The mass spectrometer, GCMS, succeeded in locating a small amount of organic molecules in the soil of the red planet, but most likely these came from impurities that had already formed on Earth. The data obtained in the 1970s still give rise to the most heated scientific debates today. But even if mankind has not yet succeeded in providing incontestable proof of the existence of extraterrestrial life forms, this doesn't mean that the search has been halted. Far from it, the research continues to be carried out with vigor. In fact, some scientists from Japan and the United States are currently working on developing new strategies to solve this galactic mystery once and for all. According to them, the investigations of the past were afflicted with the shortcoming that we tend to design the investigation of hypothetical extraterrestrial life forms according to the points of view that we know from our terrestrial home. However, more than a few experts consider it likely that extraterrestrial life could be structured significantly differently from those creatures that inhabit the Earth. In addition, the problem arises that the origin of the corresponding organisms cannot always be assigned without doubt at the first moment. As just briefly mentioned, terrestrial organisms can also be carried into the infinite reaches of space, where they can falsify the samples obtained. Modern mass spectrometry should now help to eliminate this problem. This involves an ultra-high resolution technique known in the scientific community as Fourier Transform Ion Cyclotron Resonance Mass Spectrometry. As part of the test runs, experts have already taken a close look at the wide variety of organic compounds using this method. In addition to the abiotic organic residues found in meteorites, microorganisms grown in the laboratory were also to be examined. The data obtained by this method were in turn transferred to a special computer algorithm for machine learning. And indeed, the device proved so accurate that it could categorize the relevant samples as living or non-living with 95% accuracy. This innovative type of analysis could take the search for life forms in the galaxy to a whole new level. The James Webb Space Telescope According to the optimistic predictions of some scientists, another new technology will help answer the question of the existence of extraterrestrial life forms in just a few years. The technical equipment in question is a highly complex telescope that is expected to provide evidence of life on alien planets in just 60 hours. Caprice Phillips, a doctoral student at Ohio State University, believes it's likely that we could find signs of life on other celestial bodies within the next five to 10 years. In addition to so-called super-Earths, 
Gas dwarf planets are a particular focus of scientific interest. However, due to the measuring instruments currently available, experts find it incomparably difficult to detect ammonia or other hypothetical signs of life in the atmospheres of celestial bodies. Current plans call for the James Webb Space Telescope to enter service in November 2021. This instrument, which was developed as part of a joint project between ESA, NASA, and the Canadian CSA, will search for traces of galactic life forms around 1 million miles from Earth. Other tasks of the Infrared Space Telescope include the search for the first luminous formations and galaxies that were formed immediately after the Big Bang. But the formation processes of celestial bodies and other galactic structures will also be investigated as part of this ambitious project. Accordingly, the euphoric scientists are firmly convinced that mankind now has, for the first time, the technological possibilities and the scientific background knowledge to approach the question of the existence of other life forms in a promising way. However, it's unclear whether the JWST will actually begin its work this fall. Due to massive delays, the project has already had to be postponed several times in the past. Is extraterrestrial life probable? In the Milky Way alone, there are estimated to be up to 400 billion stars. At the same time, our home galaxy is only one of more than 100 billion galaxies in the visible universe. In view of this exuberant abundance of potential homes for extraterrestrial life forms, it seems anything but likely, from today's perspective, that Earth is the only planet on which life exists. The increasing discoveries of terrestrial exoplanets, as well as the indications pointing to the existence of liquid water on other celestial bodies, constantly bolster this thesis. Researchers agree that a celestial body must be in the so-called habitable zone of its ancestral system, so that living beings can develop there. This zone describes the distance between a planet and its host star, within which water can exist in a permanently liquid form. And indeed, some experts are already firmly convinced that our galactic neighborhood is teeming with extraterrestrial life forms. Thus, for example, the American astronomer Seth Shostak estimates that alone in our homeland galaxy, 10,000 extraterrestrial civilizations could exist. The assumption of Tom Westby, professor at the University of Nottingham, is however, with 36 hypothetical civilizations clearly a more restrained estimate. What would extraterrestrials look like? Since no proof has been furnished so far of the existence of extraterrestrial living beings, it is difficult to answer this question validly. Despite this, Many experts agree that the appearance of extraterrestrial inhabitants would differ significantly from their earthly counterparts. This would be mainly due to the fact that the corresponding living beings are subject to completely different external influences than we find on our blue home planet. However, the so-called panspermy thesis is opposed to it. This theory says that extraterrestrial life forms themselves did not originate on the Earth, but were brought by asteroids on the blue planet. Thus, it's possible that on other celestial bodies, humanoid life forms exist. Another assumption is that the hypothetical extraterrestrials are lower life forms, or in other words, tiny microorganisms. Life forms in our planetary system. The employees of the Astrobiological Department of NASA hold that we don't have to go to faraway galaxies for the search for extraterrestrial life forms. Accordingly, Venus, Mars, and some moons of our solar system, such as the Jupiter satellites Ganymede and Europa, are promising candidates for the search for extraterrestrial life forms. The further we go into the outer reaches of our solar system, the smaller the probability that the celestial bodies located there are home to life. The remote icy worlds of Uranus, Neptune and company are beset by bitterly cold average temperatures, which are often below negative 310 degrees Fahrenheit. But even the innermost planet, Mercury, with its strong temperature fluctuations between negative 290 and 860 degrees Fahrenheit, is not suitable as a home for life forms. The case of Saturn's moon Titan is quite different, with its dense nitrogen methane atmosphere, the large satellite of the ringed planet probably has many parallels to the conditions that once prevailed on primeval Earth. Intelligent life forms. 
In fact, many scientists are of the opinion that the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life forms is not improbable. However, at the same time, experts believe that the distribution of intelligent life in the universe is very rare. Therefore, it's likely that enormous distances lie between us and our hypothetical galactic neighbors. This has not prevented mankind, however, from undertaking first contact attempts in the past. Thus, the space probes Pioneer 10 and 11 were equipped with golden plates communicating our human presence. The illustrations on these Pioneer plaques were meant to supply the extraterrestrials proof of our terrestrial existence. The Voyager probes, too, which are in the meantime in the outermost realms of our solar system, carry large data disks with audio and picture information, which contain much information about mankind and their homeland planet. However, these measures were not easily welcomed by all experts. If the information were to fall into the hands of potentially dangerous life forms, they could use the data to attack Earth and its inhabitants. Stephen Hawking considered this threat so great that he advised mankind not to actively search for extraterrestrial life forms, but to do everything possible to remain hidden from the eyes of extraterrestrial beings. What do you think about the search for extraterrestrial life forms? We look forward to your comments. Feel free to take a look at the other exciting videos we've linked for you in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.